guys learning with rich here in this video i'm going to teach you how to create a material takeoff okay so that's what we are going to do so on my uh, last live stream so you have learned how to create a footing schedule and peer schedule so this time around let's create a material takeoff okay so to start with so from the schedules i'm going to right click that we know this already and then last time we have used new schedule quantities this time around we will be using new material take off okay now on our new material take off dialog box so we will be using a multi uh, category because there's a lot of different items that have the same material in it okay but for our name i'm just gonna change this one and then I'm going to call it, uh, how about uh, concrete material takeoff or whatever name that you like. Okay, so I'm going to select this one. If you want to be specific, so you can just put there. So let's say you can put there a cast in place concrete. Okay. So, so it's up to you for the name. So I'm going to type this one. So that's the name. And then I select your OK. Right. Now on my material takeoff properties on the fields. So what I would like to be included to the schedule is, of course, the family and type. And then after that, let's say I want to check out the material area, the material cost. If there's a cost that you want to add, so you can select material cost and you can also add the volume. Okay, and then you can also add an uh, area, cost, volume. What else? Name. Okay, so let's say material name. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. I'm going to move it up. So move up. And then for the cost, I'm going to select the cost and then I'm going to put it down. There you go. Right? And then after that, let's select OK and let's see how it will look like. So let's select this one. And there you go. So there's our concrete material takeoff. So by the way, if I go to the schedules here, you can see that that is now our concrete material takeoff. Okay? Right, so what we are going to do here is, let us just adjust this so we can see it. So obviously, our concrete material takeoff is uh, itemized every instance so that it's selected on the sorting because it shows here a lot of materials down here. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going back to the properties and then I'll try to select the filter or I'm going to select the filter. And then here on the filter, it says filter by. I'm going to click the drop down arrow. So I'm going to filter it by uh, material name. Okay, so by material name. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to select material name. And then I'm going to. <clears throat> oh, how about. Oh, yeah, so just material name. And then I click the drop down arrow. So I will be using here concrete cast in place gray okay so i'm going to select that and then i'm going to select okay so this is the material that i would like to show here on my takeoff okay so i'm going to select your okay and there you go see so that's now the material name okay so it's only concrete cast in place gray okay now, if you want to add the cost here, you can uh, do so. You can add here. And what I, what I would like to do is I'm going to select sorting and grouping. So let's say I'm going to sort it by uh, how about uh, family name. Okay, I'm, I'm going to sort it by family name. So I click the drop down arrow. I select family name and then let's have a look at it, how it looks like. Okay, so it's now sort by family and name, uh, family, uh, family type. Okay, so family and type. So as you can see, it's now 
uh, alphabetically order based on family and type. Now, if I go back again to the sorting and grouping, I can actually add here a header. So let's see how it looks like if I add a header. And then I'm going to add a blank line. Click that one. And then I select here, OK. And there you go. So there's the header. And then there is a blank line there. Okay, so I can still go to the sorting and grouping. How about if I uncheck the header and then let's say footer. Footer that includes the title, count, and totals. So let's say I'll select this one. I'll select OK. Let's see how it looks like. So there you go. So this is how it looks like. Okay, so there's the total. Okay. And let's just try how it looks like if I select here counts, uh, totals only. So I select totals only and then I select here, OK. So there's no total yet. So I go to the sorting and grouping. I'm going to select here title, count, and totals. And then I include the grand totals here. Title, count, and totals. OK. And then I select here, OK. Notice that I'm still, uh, I just leave the itemize every instance box checked. Okay, so I select here, okay. There you go. Okay, and then the total now here is here below. That's the grand total. Now, if I want to uh, see the total area and then the total volume, what I can do is, after sorting and grouping, I can go to the formatting. Okay, so formatting, I select edit type. All right, so I go to the material area. And then here on the field formatting, instead of no calculation, I'm going to select calculate totals. Same with volume. So I select here calculate totals. Okay, so if you have the material cost, you can also make material cost here calculate total okay so I'm just going to select here calculate totals and there you go and I want you to know also that if I click here I can actually change the format unit so if I click this one so I can uncheck use project settings and then I can change here the units so let's say for example I want square meters so i just select your square meters uh zero decimal places if you want you can add a couple of decimal places it, it depends on your standard so that's the unit symbol and then you can select your okay and there you go the same with the volume so you can click the volume you can check out the format here and then you can uncheck that one cubic feet so instead of that i'll use cubic meters Okay, two decimal places, select OK. There you go. Okay, so there's a lot of things that you can uh, do to customize your uh, material takeoff. Like, for example, I, I, you want to combine your material and volume. So I can just click this and drag up to the material. And then there's an option here, group. So I can select the group. I click that one. And there you go. So I can now type here a new name. So let's say, for example, this will going to be my uh, volume. Okay. Then enter. Right. And then I can also highlight this guys here. And then I can change the shading. So I can select shading. So let's say I'm going to select here. Uh, how about this? Oh, not that one. So let's say, uh, how about red? Then okay. All right. So it's that one. Although I don't like this one. So shading. Okay. So how about this one? Oh, wait. So you highlight shading. About this. All right. Okay. So it's up to you. You can just customize this one. Now, uh, the next thing that we are going to do is we are now going to insert this inside the ship. Okay, so let's say, for example, we are now okay on our material takeoff for our 
a cast in place concrete. So what we are going to do from the project browser, so I'm going to right click the sheets here and then I'm going to create a new sheet. Okay, so use the default title block and then OK. There you go. So there's our title box. So if I expand this, I can just rename this one. Let me just delete the other sheets that I at least unused. Okay, so for this one, I'll just rename this. So let's say this is my sheet 102, and then I'll call this, uh, let's say, uh, concrete material takeoff. Okay, and I'll select OK. There you go. And then I'm just going to drag this inside here. So it will going to be a very long schedule. So I'm going to drag, and then I'm going to pick. There you go. And then select modify. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is let me just make it a single line first. So I'm going to click this. And then I'm just going to drag that. I just want a single line here. Okay. So same here. So maybe I'll just drag this. Same with this. Same with this. Okay. So just a single line. Oops. The material cost. There you go. Okay, and then I can click this, and then you uh, check this one out. You can actually break it. You can click that, and then it will break. Okay, and then I'll just drag this here. Oh, sorry. So I need to drag that inside the paper. There you go. Okay, so you can just you select the schedule and then you can use your arrow. Okay, so maybe I'm just going to change this color to gray. So I go to properties. Uh, sorry, I select the schedule and then let's go to properties and then. Um, <laughs> Okay, let me double click that. <laughs> okay, and then let's drag this and then I'll change the shading here. And then let's say I'll just use this. Okay, there you go. Okay, so if I go now to the sheet, this is now how it looks like, right? Now, if you want to change, let's say for example, the font or you want to increase the thickness of the line weight of the boundary, so what you can do is you can go back, uh, you can select again the schedule or the takeoff and then go to properties, change the appearance. So let's go to the appearance. So here, instead of thin lines for the grid lines, these are the grid lines here, those lines on our schedule here. The outline is the outside of the, the outside line of our material takeoff. So you can check that one as well. So let's say for the outline, I'm going to make that wide line. So let's see what will happen. I select here, OK. And there you go. See, it's now wide lines. Just make sure your thin lines here is turned off. Because if this is turned on, you will not be able to see the line weight. So just turn off your thin lines. OK, so let me select that again. Let's go to the properties, appearance. So let's say for the grid lines, instead of thin lines, I'm going to make it medium lines. So select that. And then I select here OK. And let's see. There you go. So it's now medium line. OK. All right. So basically, that's how you create your uh, material takeoff. So it's just like creating your footing schedule, your peer schedule. All right, so that's it for this uh, simple exercise. So hopefully, guys, you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. All right, so once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.